So Bob, do you agree with the idea that society is being transformed by networks? If you consider transforming as changes to the character of society, the way it engages, then, yes I think it is. Give me some examples Bob. Look at what Twitter networks are doing to language. Twitching is no longer a sudden muscle spasm, but two Twitter users who engage in conversation. Twill now describes something that is too cool. Oct for October now stands for obsessive compulsive Twitterer. My favorite is torture. You know, those twerps who are boring tweeters. Sue, I didn't know you used Twitchinary. It's great, isn't it? You can create your own twerms. You can even give them the twums up or the twums down. Yes, Bob. I am now starting to have Phil Wims. Phil Wims, what are they, Sue? Something from Twollywood? Ha. Huh. So finally I have one up on you, Bob. It's only taken three weeks. A Phil Wim is a falling in love with internet moment F-I-L-W-I-M. Now I think less about face-to-face -face communication and realize the internet affords human-to-human -human communication in many different forms. That's choice, Sue. I like it. H2H. Even better H2O, the essence of life, human to others, others being us. Now that is truly transforming. It's the play aspect of networking that's great Bob. Not only do we network to meet people and make contacts but we can promote ourselves as well. And you criticize me for being a digital narcissist. Bob, I am beginning to like the idea of developing a digital presence. I can see the real efficacy now that we can create spaces in authentic environments. What's better, it's free and robust, and it is full of other very very important people we can rub shoulders with. Like us Sue. Maybe someday Bob. It's happening already Sue, I googled us this morning and Bob and Sue in Cloudworks are ranked 7th already. Wow. Well, society is definitely being transformed if that can happen in just 3 weeks Bob. But, you know, we are just fake friends, a figment of Julie's imagination. I don't know why you have to talk about Julie and her rights all the time. She has let us loose to cyberspace. She has no rights, no control over us anymore. We are free agents. You need to read last Thursday's Harvard Business Review blog by Alexandra Samuel on the 10 reasons to stop apologizing for your online life. I'm impressed Sue. Now you're engaging in HBR blogs. Tell me more. Well, the first reason states that, when you commit to being your real self online, you discover parts of yourself you never dared share offline. So I am not so sure Julie has released us completely. Oh, in that case I better watch my P's and Q's. Actually I find it's a bit nerve-wracking having a virtual lurker behind the curtain. Networking really is transforming society Bob, with all these new types of behavior and terminologies, let alone all the new opportunities. That reminds me, I must go and compare our rankings on Yahoo. Bye Bob.